While most Source Engine games have a built-in field of view slider adjustment after somewhat recent updates, perhaps you wish to have a field of view that is not within the confines of 75 to 90 degrees, or perhaps you want to adjust the field of view in a game such as Counter-Strike Source, which does not have this field of view adjustment update. The, p the process of changing the field of view is actually fairly simple if you know where to look. Now what you need to do is navigate to the in-game folder in your Steam directory, which for uh, Source Engine games would be under Steam, Steam Apps, and your username. In this case, I'm using Half-Life 2. In uh, other games, you'll want to look in the game folder for the folder with the, uh, with the name of the uh, particular game. For example, Team Fortress 2, you want to look for TF2 instead of HL2. Adjustments, of course, need to be made for other games. What you need to look for is the CFG folder within that folder. And you'll probably not find this. You need to create the autoexec.exe. The easiest way to do this is by creating a new text document, renaming it completely to autoexec.cfg. It'll ask you, probably, you say yes. This won't prob this probably won't pop up for you because I already have this and chances are you don't. So I'll just pop up the auto auto exec that I've written. I'm not entirely certain if the FOV desired is entirely necessary, but it certainly does not hurt to include it. So essentially type in FOV desired or FOV underscore desired then the value you wish to input for the field of view. In my case, 110, because that is what I prefer for 16.9 widescreen, followed by FOV with the same number. Again, I don't know for sure if this particular line is necessary or not, but it does not hurt. Save it, quit it, and from there, you're good to go. I will... Uh, shortly be showing some gameplay footage of the game Half-Life 2 with this field of view fix in action. You can see the effect already at the menu as the 3D device, the 3D scene created for the menu is a fair bit more zoomed out and revealing some holes in the geometry that you're not meant to be seeing. I will load up a section of the game here to show how this looks in actual gameplay. And here we are in the chapter root canal. As you can probably tell by the distortions at the edges of the, scre edges of the screen, the uh, field of view change has been accepted. Let's just beat the crap out of these guys real quick here. On a side note, I am quite pleased with the performance of the game right here. Let us enable cheats to have a quick look at the weapons. This is... this look at the weapons is mostly to... check if any of the weapons show any, uh... any issues with being displayed. You know, holes in the models and whatnot as a result of having a higher field of view. The current status says no to me. As it seems the engine does separate view model field of view and uh, display field of view.
as completely separate entities. I may have to look into that myself and see if there is a way to adjust the field view model field of view to be a little wider, but I've actually managed to find how to adjust the view model field of view in the Source Engine. Many thanks to user Gordon Friedman <laughs> for on the uh, Steam forums for finding out this solution. And we'll open these two screenshots. It'll take a little while because I'm recording and it likes to freeze things, but I can just edit it out if it takes too long. So here is Portal without the adjustments. And here is the same game in the same scene with the adjustments. Now I have, I have yet to test such a thing out myself, so I do not know if there's any awful, horrible looking geometry hole artifacts as there are in Team Fortress 2 when you adjust the view model field of view to 70. But I will bring it back to the solution once again to show how to do this. I think I've shown enough to prove that the field of view change does indeed work. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time. Thank you for watching.